London could get to keep a larger share of the taxes which are generated here. The mayor says he's already spoken to the chancellor about the idea and the possibility of it raising millions or even billions of pounds to fund major projects in the city. But there are also concerns, as Mark Ashdown reports. You, you buy them in, do you? Yeah. Boris Johnson today supporting a project to recycle unwanted food. And on a day when devolution was high on the agenda, he too made his latest pitch for London to keep more of its own money. He says he's met George Osborne this week, and the Chancellor is minded to allow London to have control over some of the stamp duty and business rates it generates. Well, I think what, what the Treasury would like to do, rather than just saying you can have all of, of stamp duty land, uh, of stamp duty, which would be a, a huge uh, transfer, I think they'd they like to do it project by project, mm. idea by idea. But it sounds you know, like that's, that's possibly realistic then, if you spoke yeah, to him about I, that. I think that's the sort, of, sort of way forward. So how much money are we talking about? Well, in the last financial year, the government raised £9.3 billion in property stamp duty in the UK. If we look just at residential property, the figure was £6.5 billion. Nearly half of that, £2.7 billion, was raised in London alone. It means in future projects like the Garden Bridge or Crossrail 2 could be funded using money from stamp duty. With the small matter of having to tunnel 36 kilometres right under the city centre, Crossrail 2 could cost in the region of £27 billion. Ideas being considered to fund it are charging landowners and property developers near the line or raising council tax or putting up fares. This could be a popular alternative then. Or maybe not. Some say money would be better invested in much needed housing instead and there would be losers. If London gets these chunks of money, somewhere has got to not get these chunks of money. It doesn't necessarily mean another part of the country. Is it going to come out of health or education or defence or international development? Where is Boris proposing this money gets taken from? But big projects generate more jobs, housing, in other words income for the government. And even a tiny loosening of the controls would be a bold step. What's really interesting about this is that it suggests the government is willing to consider, even in a rather limited way, devolving extra tax raising powers to London, or at least the yield from the growth in some extra taxes, which would give London government just a little bit more freedom over the resources that are generated in the city and then it could decide how to use them in the future. The Treasury hasn't commented officially but even a small concession would be seen as significant in the Mayor's push for more power for him to spend what London earns. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News. The former Premier League footballer Clark